What's up guys, we are back with the Magnite Tough Series Challenge here on the X-Lite. As you've seen over the last few weeks, we have literally put this exact bow through the ringer. We have done the submerged in sub-zero temperatures, frozen it with a thousand pounds of ice hanging off the riser. We've done the mercury grit test where we've thrown it in the pond, let it sit 24 hours, literally pushed the bow down in the mud and twisted the cams, come back, shootability still was per per perfection basically. Um, we have towed an F-250 with this bow. We ran over it with a side by side. We pulled it around like a water skier on concrete and the bow has still performed flawlessly. Now it don't look incredible at the moment, which is part of the, the fun of this, I guess. But now we're at our, we're at our fourth and final challenge on this X-Lite riser. We're gonna actually put a torch on the center of this riser. More than likely it's gonna melt off the handle literally on this bow. And part of the reason we're doing this is because this bow has often been compared to just a ma another magnesium bow. And the facts about magnesium are, is when a magnesium gets to a certain temperature, it'll actually catch on fire. And it, at 650 degrees approximately, it'll literally just melt. And so if, that, if this is just a magnesium bow, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna just melt and there's no way you'll be able to shoot it. So we're gonna crank this bow up, uh, the temperature up on this riser to approximately 650 degrees and just see what happens. If it melts, it melts. If it doesn't and it still looks like it can somewhat function, we're going to put it in the hooter shooter. Actually put the string back on it. We did take the string off. Just obviously a string is going to pop if, if heat, that much heat's applied to anywhere near it. So following this test, if it, if it holds up and we think it holds up, we'll put it in the hooter shooter and test it for shootability. Here we go, boys. You ready? Yep. All right, so we just got back from my bow shop where uh, my boy and I put the string back on this bow, on the X-Lite. Obviously, if we would have torched it with the string, we were gonna absolutely disintegrate the string. So we put the string back on the bow and we are getting ready uh, here in the Hooter Shooter to do the first draw with this bow. We have not shot it yet, so we absolutely have no idea what's fixing to happen. I have a pretty good feeling about it. Um, just because I don't see anything other than the, the grip is completely fried off of this bow to find out. Other than that, we're gonna find out if the shootability is still there. And if it is, I might actually go hunting with it this September, but we'll see. So we're fixing to test it and see what happens. Well, as you can see, the bow still shot unbelievable. Now, cosmetically, this bow looks like trash right now. You can imagine it, it should after everything we've put it through over the last four weeks of testing. But there are some things we were trying to call out. Um, magnite is not just magnesium. Magnite is a metal nanocomposite alloy. It uses ceramic nanoparticles combined with other rare earth materials. But I can tell you this, after putting it through this heat, 700 degrees, this bow, if it was anything other than magnite, would have began to do, it would have began deforming. It would have began melting, twisting, and as you can see, after even that heat, it is identical to the way it looked when we started. There is absolutely no give in there. It has not been deformed in any way, and it literally just shot perfect right in front of your eyes. There's no tricks here that we could have done to allow this bow to still look like this after what we put it through. Um, but this thing has been incredible. It's performed incredible. It's been through four or five, actually some of the tests had multiple tests within the test as far as towing and running over them on concrete, not on dirt. Um, we went through the sub-zero test, we went through the mercury grit test, and now we went through intense heat, the torch test. And we literally fried the middle of this riser. Nothing you can see is deformed, other than it is a little charred there in the middle. Uh, but it still shot fine, so much to the point. I may ask X if I can take this thing out and try to kill a deer with it this year. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments what you think about this torture test. We know it's a little crazy. It's a little out there. I can tell you this, we had a dang good time doing it. And I got a pretty good feeling we ain't done yet.